you may not notice them um, on like a first glance of your hair. If you're looking at your hair in the mirror, you may not notice them. But um, if you were to take your hair and hold it up, uh, kind of fan it out between your fingers, as El Narstavo will demonstrate for us right now, just... you will notice if it's been a few months since your last trim, you will notice undoubtedly that there will be um, hairs in the shape of a Y. What's up, long hairs? Welcome back to another episode of The Main Cave. I am Elefante. And I am El Narstavo. Today, we are talking about split ends. We are going to be referencing a blog post titled, What's the Deal with Split Ends? That we released back in 2016. Uh, It is a a great blog post explaining all this stuff that we're going to talk about. But if you're not much of a reader, you can just listen to us here. Yep. So um, the first thing I think, what is this, what is split ends? How would you describe split ends? It's exactly what it's called. You're gonna like if you look at the tips of your hair and you haven't had a trim in a while, um, eventually you start producing. There's either breakage or split ends. The tip of the pretty much the strand of hair starts splitting, and you can see it right away. Um, and that's what a split end is. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of them. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so do I right now. You may not notice them um, on like a first glance of your hair. If you're looking at your hair in the mirror, you may not notice them. But um, if you were to take your hair and hold it up, uh, kind of fan it out between your fingers, as El Narstavo will demonstrate for us right now, just... you will notice if it's been a few months since your last trim, you will notice undoubtedly that there will be um, hairs in the shape of a Y. Um, some of them will just be kind of like broken like like that. Um, that eventually will break off and leave sort of a frayed end to that hair, that one particular hair shaft. And that sort of frayed end, like Gus was saying, will begin to split and they don't stop. That's the thing about split ends and why they're such a, a killer of great hair is um, is that once your hair starts to split, there's no getting around it. And as the blog post says, uh, is it life-threatening? No, it is not. Although it is terminal as far as your hair goes, treatable only by amputation. Yep. So um, if you find yourself with some split ends, get it, get it taken care of. Um, May I add also that if you have like, I don't know if you guys noticed, like when you get a haircut and all that, they use the black cover. It's easier to see when you have a black background for some reason, mm. I've noticed from like experience. Sure. So I could just see everything if I put it over something dark. So it's okay. easier to see. Just wanna throw that out there. Cool. <laughs> well, yeah, look at your hair up against a dark background and and, uh, and, and find those split ends. Um, so what causes them? Uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff that causes split ends. One being excessive heat. So if you uh, like to dry your hair, like if you're a guy who gets your hair wet every single day because like, I don't know, maybe you work out really hard in the morning or, you know, you want to shower every night before bed and you don't like having sweaty hair um, and you use the blow dryer before you get into bed or head out the door for work or school or whatever, um, excessive heat from a blow dryer will cause split ends so we recommend you know we're not against blow dryers here but we are against heat so if you um are going to be using a blow dryer uh regularly um we don't recommend you know everyday use you know ideally you should be washing your hair like once twice a week so at most i would say you should be using a hair dryer Mm -hmm. once or twice a week at the very most and on the cool setting use it on the cool setting avoid um, heat and if yours doesn't have a cool setting and you only have warm or hot you want to like you know mine Keep mine only distance. has a warm or, or hot setting it doesn't have a cool setting so i always blow my hair and i try to i try to keep my my Smooth. arm like outstretched <laughs> so i'm not like up right up against just frying my my hair yeah. strands um yeah one thing i do is like if, even if i am a little closer i just keep moving get it like moving yeah and i just kind of pull out the hair and just go 
for yeah. sure. Just keep doing that for a little while and it helps. Yeah, yeah. don't don't stick on yeah, one particular just, area. Just beam me down for on it. Too yeah. long. Yeah, it'll just suck the moisture right out of your hair. Um, other stuff that uh, can can cause split ends: excessive uh, exposure to the elements. So things like the sun, sub freezing temperatures. If you're out hitting the slopes mm-hmm. and it's snowing and your hair's whipping back and forth and um, it's got, you know, you've got the frigid air plus just the rapid movement of your hair. That's going to cause yeah. some damage. I was just on a, at a bonfire on Saturday and you know, you smell that the smokiness mm-hmm. in your hair and you're like, Oh gosh, I really need to. Yep. And guess what? I haven't actually, I haven't washed it. Um, and I feel guilty about that. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't washed yet? <laughs> Not yet. Oh, I haven't um, noticed it. We share an office too. I haven't noticed the uh, uh, the smoky smell, so that's no, good. It wasn't too bad, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, smoke, smoke. Also, if you're you know big big grill guy, or you know we've got a buddy um, who runs Space Cat Barbecue. Check him out in San Diego next time you're here. They're over at the Aero Club. Um, he them. has long hair, and he is standing over a barbecue pit for Jeez. hours on end. You know, five days a week, imagine. and. Um, that will cause some damage. Uh, so we, you know, to help prevent that, if you're a guy who's always around smoke or chemicals or anything like that, mm-hmm. use a clarifying shampoo. Uh, we make one. It's called Power Clean, and it will strip all of nature's imperfections as well as man-made residues. Yeah, it's from my your go-to hair. actually. Personal. Yeah. Go-to. Yeah. Just you know, the once or twice. But I usually do it like once a week when I wash it. Uh-huh. But that's like I put it. I apply it like twice, and okay. it just really feel. It makes it feel great afterwards. Yeah. It's like a yeah. reset. Pretty, it's pre- definitely a reset. Yeah. yeah it's <laughs> it's kind of designed to. It's a little more aggressive than like a regular shampoo. Yeah. Sure. Um, it's it's designed to really. I hesitate to use the word strip because that mm. that has some negative connotations, but it essentially just lays bare the hair strands of, of That's everything. That's exactly how I imagine it. But it strips, yeah, all that badness yeah. like off the surface of the hair strand and just it's in the raw and like just yeah. cleans it really well. And you could really tell uh, once you wash it, you dry it and everything, you feel it, you're just like not rough at all. You could run your fingers through it. It's a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Love it. So, um, I guess that kind of brings us to another point too, is, is that when you use a a shampoo, uh, or a clarifying shampoo, it is important to use a, uh, conditioner afterwards. Part of what causes split ends is just dryness, a lack of moisture in the hair strands. Um, and shampoos, if you're shampooing every day can really excessively dry out your hair. Uh, especially if you're not using a conditioner. Um, and just to get kind of sciencey really quick, um, we're going to talk about the pH level of your hair for a second. Mm-hmm. Hang, hang in with me. We'll get back to the fun stuff. But um, so your, pair, your hair's natural pH level is 4.5 to 5.5. So on the you know alkaline to acidic scale, um, your hair is more acidic. Um, using a shampoo shampoos typically have a higher pH balance on top of that, the water that you're using, uh, you know, if you have hard water, um, a lot of, uh, hard water will push your hair to a more alkaline level. And what the shampoo, or I'm sorry, what the, what the conditioner does after you, you know, strip your hair of all the oils and you know, your, your hair is now a little bit more alkaline it feels a little drier. You put the, sh- the conditioner back in, uh, into your hair and let it sit there and that will bring the hair's natural PA pH balance back closer to its natural level. So the conditioners, you know, they, they really range in pH levels, but, um, a lot of them will have a level of like three to four. So you, you know, you push it into the alkaline with the, with hard water and shampoo, and then you bring it back to, uh, it's more natural state with a, with a conditioner. And that's going to help prevent split ends, um, and leave in conditioner as well. So you have your normal, you know, shampoo and conditioner in the shower. And what I like to do is put a leave in conditioner after my wash days. I need to use that more actually. Yeah. Leave-in conditioner. It's yeah, good. Sure. It's good stuff. Um, and, and that's going to help your hair maintain its natural, you know, moisture balance, its natural pH balance and, and help prevent some of those split ends. You can go a little longer between trims that way. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, but that's kind of like tough because me, like I wouldn't even think about the pH balances or, or what water. Just hey, this is what I have. I'm going to use it. But like the products, of course, yeah. use them wisely. Like, and then you're going to benefit yeah. from it for sure. It's like yeah. if you've ever if you've ever taken a shower and not used conditioner, and then your hair, you know, you either air dry it or blow it dry. Mm. Your hair is like frizzy oh, and kind of kind of wild. Yeah. yeah, it's because it's not it's not at its natural yeah. level. It's ba- it's it's imbalanced. Then you're like, oh, I'm going to use some serum to help it out, or something. And you could like use that. hair serum. Yeah. Hair serum's great, but also. Use that conditioner. <laughs> um, I guess that's that's another great point. Is after you're you know if you want to take it to the full max, like if you're like us who are donating our hair in in one year as yep. of you know when this take video comes out, um, we are really trying to donate the longest and healthiest hair that we can. We are, we're growing our hair for kids who can't. Mm -hmm. And you know, at the end of the day, we want to give them a a solid set of hair, um, a solid hair piece. And, and it does take, uh, I want, if I read this correctly, I believe it's three or four donations, three or four individual donations to make one real hair wig. Because of, you know, they have to, all the lengths have to be the same. Yeah. They have to, you know, you you lose length when they stitch it into the headpiece and all that stuff. So, so the more the merrier, of course. The longer, yeah. the healthier, the better. And mm-hmm. so, um, which leads me back to my point, is if you want to go the extra mile, the, the full distance, it would be a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner, and then a uh, leave-in conditioner, after after your you know towel dried and then if you're blow drying your hair you know you can blow dry with the leave-in conditioner in it'll help kind of protect it and then when your hair is a little on the drier side um after a after a blow dry you can add add in the uh, hair serum, serum, hair serum. to yeah. the ends um to lubricate and kind of treat and protect the hair from sun damage and wind and all that stuff yeah um yeah the hair serum that we have it just works amazing i use it with my kids they right before school and all that it's, it works great yeah love it yeah it's awesome so preventing split ends um the the first thing is really that that moisture that hydration yeah. in your hair uh second i would say would be uh just your overall health um, one of the things, yeah, one of the great points brought up in this blog post is that your hair is a non-essential system in the bo- the system that is our body. Yeah. Like it's basically the first to, uh, your, your body will divert nutrients from your hair first prior to any other system because it's non-essential. So it can kind of be the canary in the coal mine for unhealthy hair, uh, And so, you know, making sure you're getting adequate sleep, you're eating, you know, a decent diet and, you know, if you're working out even better, Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, your, your hair is really like the, the first indication of even, oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, Even like the, how you mentioned sleep and how you put your hair when you sleep and, uh, yeah, I, mine's a mix. I just sometimes just be dead tired or I'll be with my kids, fall asleep, um, or, I'll put it in a hair tie and I'll be like, I'll, I'll let it go before I fall asleep. And I fall asleep with the hair tie and I wake up like super late and I'm yeah. like, Oh, it's still in here. And it's just a mess. Yeah. And you're just like, damn it. But like you pulling that out and having to calm all that out, it's going to leave to break it or like split it. It's like if you have to really, I don't know. It's yeah. Yeah. So I've gone a very long time without a trim. So I am really needed. And you use, actually in the office, Sean sees me looking at my split ends. And I grabbed scissors and I'm just like, I became a little obsessed with trimming them <laughs> uh, myself. And so like, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I, I just have to find somebody to go trim that. So don't be afraid to trim that. Even if they have to cut two, three, four inches off, like, because that's how long I've gone. And I'm pretty sure that's how much I'm gonna have to cut off. Yeah, and it hurts at first, but the long-term benefit of getting rid of those split ends is, is oh, yeah. you know, is, is gonna, pay dividends um because the longer you wait to get your split ends treated the further up the hair shaft that that hair is going to split you know and eventually you've got hair that's split up here but your healthy hair is down here and then eventually that hair dies and falls out and then you got to start all over um with that 
that particular it moves strand. quick too. Yeah. yeah, and we're talking on a scale of thousands of pieces of hair. Yeah, you know, so just keep it hydrated. Try to protect it from the elements. Mm-hmm. We don't typically recommend sleeping with hair ties in the hair as they can kind of pull and tug and cause breakage. Um, but yeah, uh, and yeah, go get a trim. Um, if you're <laughs> noticing that your hair is, is uh, you know, if you, if you run your fingers over the ends of your hair and it feels like textured, it doesn't feel smooth, um, it's probably time yeah. to, uh, to get a trim. I could literally just go to get the ends and like kind of pull on it. Mm-hmm. And I have breakage too, and it just falls right off. Like that's how bad it is. I yeah. need it, yeah. But uh, it, the more I do that, the worse it's gonna get. Or even if I just, like I said, I trim my own, it's not gonna help. It's just gonna continue to happen. You just continue to see it, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, check out the check out the leave-in conditioner, check out the hair serum. You know, mm-hmm. don't use heat when you're blow drying. Um, don't yeah, use, you know, hair ties that, that really like cinch down on your hair. Um, yeah. Hair ties that, that are too tight or, you know, that, 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 that kind of roll into your hair as you pull. I don't know if you've ever used a crappy hair tie, but when they, you pull it out of your hair and they kind of roll, you know, uh, they yeah. can, it can really get tangled up in there and pulling those things out. You're going to cause, cause breakage. It's been a while since I had one of those, but yeah, <laughs> I, we use, we use our, our own hair ties here yep. as well. They're fantastic. They slide right off. They are not round. They actually are flat, so they do. They, they slide off very nicely. Check those out um, at thelonghairs.us. Um, if you've got other questions on hair health and kind of maintenance, check out Quick Tips. We'll leave a link in the description. It is the basics of hair care, things like brushing, um, shampooing and conditioner frequency, brushing techniques, even hair whip techniques. Uh, you can sign up for that uh, at the link in the description. But other than that, I think it covers everything, yeah, split end wise. Right. Yeah, just take care of your hair. <laughs> take care of your hair, boys. And until next time. Shoot!